Bernie Savitt's project um, Changing New York has the same exact materials that I work with photographically to very different results. The works that are represented here um, correspond to frame rate of film. So you're looking at 60 photograms that would represent um, metaphorically one second in film. And as opposed to um, viewing frames that change or move, it is the movement of the viewer that activates the work. And some of the work is reflective, some of the work is matte. Um, it either absorbs or reflects um, light, which I think um, is rather relevant to um, the particular vantage point where the work is situated. So the light is always changing, so the work also changes over time. It's not static, it's always evolving. The works on view will oxidize and they'll change. So they'll not only change in the present, they'll change as ongoing into the future. I teach as well as, as being an exhibiting artist and in any course that I teach on the history of photography, you know, Bernice's work plays a, a enormous a part, you know, from the Change in New York series to the scientific series to the portraits that she did in Paris. You know, there's not a course that I could teach in photography, you know, from women in photography that wouldn't include a chapter on Bernice's work. the same exact technique that Bernie Sabat uses in her work with one small difference is um, there's no enlarger, there's no negative, and they're made outdoors, not in a, in a dark room with um, all the traditional black and white chemicals. The works are made outdoors, which is obviously not traditionally how photographs are made. So the, the works are made you know, under, you know, various conditions. And I think it's important that you have a, a view to the outside, you know, while viewing the work.